Maybe, maybe I just haven't been paying close enough attention, but brand new uniforms, white with a, a different shade of green uh -huh. for the numbers. I'm really, really digging these uniforms here. Yeah, I saw them early too, and uh, you know, I'm not really digging it because <laughs> I had to wear the same uniforms for four years, and these guys, you know, no, they look great out there, and uh, hopefully they can match their play with how good their uniforms look. These are sharp. UVU, white and green, Utah State in their road blue uniforms. Both teams are on the floor getting ready for the tip here in Orem, Utah. It'll be Evans versus Colette at midcourt. And it gets knocked back towards Utah State. It'll be Darius Perkins bringing it past the midcourt line. For Utah State, they have first possession. Right wing now. Utah State, Colette, top of the key, swinging it out of Perkins, left wing. Nelson hedges out, down to Colette, into the paint, two dribbles, little shake inside. No good. Rebound by Bernil. Great defense by Brendan that time. Holding his ground again. David Collette trying to take advantage of that size early. Marcel Davis, Utah State in a two up top, three down low zone. It's Zach Nelson out the free throw line holding the basketball. Trying to get it down low. Now he's going to hit it to Williams. It's Marcel Davis driving down the lane on Moore. Puts it up off the backboard. No good. Rebound Collette and Utah State will come the other way. It's Perkins. Right wing, gets a screen from Colette. Now it's Moore, right wing three. Short, off the front of the rim, a rebound by Dante Williams. Interesting, just most of the matchup, really, they got Brendan starting out on Jalen Moore and Zach over to Colette, which, you know, I, I previously had now is wrong. 0-0 zero, zero here, UVU on their second offensive possession. It's Davis in the right wing. Now it's Evans, right elbow, swinging it, left wing three. No, Williams will drive to the hoop and gets it to go. First bucket of the game. Nice little floater off the glass from Dante. It'll be good to get him going early. Dante Williams starts the scoring off for UVU. 2-0, 18-30 remaining here in the first half. Jalen Moore, now it's Perkins, left corner. Colette swinging it now to Moore. He'll take a left wing three this time. That one is no good. He's 0 for 2 from the three-point line. Yeah, it looks like Brendan's going to give him that open three and not try to get beat. Off penetration and give up any fouls early. Jalen Moore averaging 15 points a game on the year for the Aggies. He's 0-2 to start. Bruneal in the left corner. Backs it out. Now it's Nelson swinging it. Right wing, Davis. Davis goes center now. Down low to Evans on the left block. One dribble, passing out. And it's going to be a turnover as Zach Nelson unable to handle the pass. Yeah, they doubled Brendan down low to protect Jalen because he definitely has the, the body mass ma or mismatch down there. And uh, Brendan tried to make a home run play out of that double team. Perkins, now it's Colette, top of the key, right wing, down into the block. It's Moore on the right block, double team coming, passes out. It goes to Perkins in the left wing. That's a no good. Rebound, Bruneal. Utah State 0 for 3 from the three-point line to start this game. 2-0 Wolverines. Bruneal, Davis now. About five feet off the three-point line. Dribbles to center. Calling the play. 23 on the shot clock. 17-30 left here in the first half. Evans, left wing three. Now it's Nelson, top of the key. Swinging at Davis, right wing. Denies the screen from Evans. Down the lane. Puts the shot up. No good. Rebounded by Chris Smith. Moore coming the other way. And he takes it to the rim. And a foul committed by Brendan Evans. Blocking foul. That'll send Moore to the free throw line. Utah State seems to really be trying to set the pace of the game with those quick threes in their half-court sets and then really getting out in transition and trying to, again, take advantage of that Jalen Moore's athleticism against, uh, against our bigs down low. On the season, Jalen Moore averaging 15 a game. His first free throw is good. And from the free throw line, Moore is a 70% free throw shooter. Utah State, like we said a moment ago, is 0 for 3 from the three-point line. They average about eight makes a game from there. 38% as a team from behind the three. Moore makes both free throws, 2 to 2. Subs coming, Chad Ross into the game for Brendan Evans. Utah State with a full court press. Yeah, when Marcel comes out of the game, they really don't have a true point guard to handle the ball, and Utah State's going to try to try to test Alex Carr and, and see what the Wolverines can do with this pressure. Dante Williams, right wing three, dribbles to the center. Now it's Bruneal looking for Nelson high post. Can't get it there. Dribbles right wing. Now Nelson swinging at left wing. That's Carr. Nelson now to Williams. Had a look. Dribbled in. Now Bruneal right baseline. Jay is good for Mitch Bruneal. 
Yeah, they went to that 1-2-2, two, two, and Mitch did a great job of running the baseline on that and found a free corner and knocked it down. 4-2, UVU here at home. 16-40 remaining here in the first half. Utah State with the basketball. Perry with it, gets a screen from Colette, takes the jumper off the back iron, no good. Bruneal with another rebound. He's tied for first on this team in rebounding. Him and Nelson average 5.8 rebounds a game. Bruneal can really do it all, and UVU now with possession up two. In the corner, it's Ross. Takes two dribbles, looking for Alex Carr. Now it's Bruneal, a straight on three-pointer off the back iron, no good. Coming Again, the they're pressuring him in transition, and no foul call. It looked like it was going to be a charge call on number two. Yeah, Perkins game blazing down the lane, crashed into a UVU defender, no call. UVU gather, gathers up the loose ball, and now it's Nelson in the corner. Pump fakes the three, drives into the lane, spins on the left side, puts up a shot, it's blocked, and he is fouled on the second attempt. That'll send Zach Nelson to the free throw line. Great second effort by Zach there. Kind of went with the soft scoop shot initially, and I think Colette initially got a block on that one off the weak side, and Zach kept with it. UVU leads here 4-2 to two in Orem, Utah. We're going to take a break here on the WAC Digital Network and also on 960 The Zone. Four to two in the early stages of this basketball game, and I think you know we talked in the pregame a little bit about getting off to a good start, and I think UVU got what they wanted in terms of getting off to a good start, and Utah State, on the other hand, has not made a field goal yet. 0 for five. Yeah, I was a little surprised by the shots that you know Jalen Moore has settled for. We of course played them last year, and he's a lot more aggressive to the rim. And you know, I just look at his stats here; he's only attempting about three per game and he's already taken three in the first four minutes here so and uh, now we see the lineup changes as he's gone to the bench so I don't know if they're too thrilled about his shot selection with that one and Brendan's size of course is bothering him I think kind of giving him a you know a different look and not really sure what to do with with that matchup on the floor for UVU it's Zach Nelson at the free throw line also Chad Ross Mitch Bruniel, Alex Carr and Dante Williams for Utah State Darius Perkins, David Colette, Julian Perry, Chris Smith, and into the game, Sean Harris. Zach's first free throw there must have hit every piece of that rim and fell off on the back side, missing the first. Second free throw for Nelson is in and out. And Utah State coming the other way. It's Perkins in the right wing. One dribble, now swinging it to Perry. Now they're in the left corner, looking for Colette down low. He catches it, and no good on the layup. Rebound. Great effort by Chad coming out on the weak side. I was just about to say, I'm surprised that I haven't seen a lot of Colette. He had 32 last time out against USC. That was his first touch of the game there. Yeah, Zach's doing a great job of fronting him down low, and that's really the, the Wolverines scheme defensively of guarding the post is, is fronting and makes it really difficult to get any entry passes and it really makes the bigs work down low offensively. Into the game for UVU, Marcel Davis and Darius Hamilton. Sean Harris with it for Utah State, left wing three. A lot of action for Utah State behind the three point line, still without a field goal in this game. Right block, now right wing Perkins behind the three point line, Harris center, swinging it left wing Smith. He's gonna go baseline, cut off and a foul on number 24, Alex Carr. I don't know about that one. That was looked like pretty solid defense there as Alex beat him to the baseline is what you tried to do is to beat him, get your you know, baseline side foot to that baseline before the offense can get over there. And Alex looked like he had good positioning, but we'll see if the refs call that consistently with that little hand check. Utah State, baseline pass into Colette. Now it's McGlaston, down low to Harris on the left low block. Two dribbles, kicks out. Number 34 with the three. No good, another missed field goal. And we have Sean Harris trying to collect the offensive rebound, but he stepped out of bounds. Turnover Utah State, UVU with the basketball. 4-2, 14.55 left. Looks like Utah State's going back to that 1-3-1 one, one zone here defensively. It's kind of a little bit of a, a rubber band matchup, 1-3-1 one, one, as they drop that top guard quickly back to the free throw line whenever it moves off the top. Williams to Carr, swinging it to Davis, left wing three. 
Back to Carr. Now it's Williams in the right corner. Puts the ball on the floor. Kicks out to Davis. Pump fakes the three. Eight on the shot clock here. Carr now. It's Williams in the right corner. Pump fakes. Blocked by Harris on the jumper. Shot off. And it's going to be a shot clock violation on UVU. Utah State, solid defense there. Yeah, that length on their wings is going to make it real difficult for any type of penetration and interior passing, which you know UVU is definitely going to have to adjust to and, and work. Perkins, now it's Colette at the free throw line. Handoff, dribble to Smith down the lane. He loses it out of bounds. They're going to say it's off a UVU defender, and it'll stay with the Aggies. Looked like it hit his foot almost. I'm watching the replay up here on the Jumbotron, and hard to tell. Smith with it. Top of the key. Now it's Perkins. Defended by Davis. Down the right side of the lane. Kicks it out to Chris Smith. Is it a two or a three? Looks like a three-pointer. The first one for Utah State. 5-4. Yeah, they finally got one to go, and as Wolverines turn it over against that 1-3-1, and Dante with the hustle to get it back. It looks like he slipped after poking the ball away. He went to collect it there right in front of the Utah State bench and might have slipped out of bounds. Yeah, Alex got himself in a bad spot. Was, when they're trapping like that, those you know wings present a third defender if you get over there next to those corners. And uh, he put the ball over his head, and that trap collapsed off in a hurry. On the floor for UVU, Dante Williams, Zach Nelson, Darius Hamilton, Marcel Davis, and Mitch Bruneal. Utah State with their first lead at 5-4, 13-46 left. Some assistant coaches are trying to dry up a wet spot there in front of the Utah State bench where Dante Williams slipped out of bounds. Such a great defensive play. Yeah, exactly. I think, you know, I saw the coach spill a little water over there on purpose, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Utah State with it. It's Harris at the free throw line. One dribble now, now kicks it out to Bolton. Left wing, now it's Chris Smith who just hit the three-pointer. Now McLaughlin with the basketball, two dribbles. Had a look, passes it up. Harris, right elbow. You got the mismatch down low on Colette with Dante Williams as he releases that one. McGlaston deep three, is rebounded by Marcel Davis and fouled on the rebound by David Colette. Marcel showing a little athleticism on that rebound. He well above David Colette's reach as he went up for that one. And that's one thing I think Marcel does not get enough credit for. He's a terrific rebounder from the guard position, which is extremely difficult to do from the outside in, especially at his size. He does a great job of, of getting a lot of defensive rebounds that, that end a lot of possessions for the, for the opponents. Colette with his first personal foul. Not a lot of size on the Aggies team behind him. If he gets into foul trouble, that could be problematic for Utah State. Yeah, especially going to need their his scoring interior-wise as, as they've struggled from the perimeter thus far. Aggies in a full court press. Nelson now passing the midcourt line on the right sideline. Passes it to Williams. They got 10 guys above the three point line out here. The Wolverines need to space it out. Bernil, right corner three, is long. No good. Rebounded by Chris Smith. UVU, 0 oh for their last four from the field. A foul on UVU as the Aggies, Henry Bolton, went up for a mid range J. It looks like they're going to count it and give him a trip to the free throw line. Yeah, again, those guards are really pushing the ball in transition, and they're not afraid to tack and take it all the way to the rim. As they're putting a lot of pressure on Marcel defensively. As that's, you know, it's such a hard defensive play as he's coming down at a full head of steam, and you want to stand your ground, and it's kind of just up to the official if he's going to call it or not. Henry Bolton on the free throw line for the and one. That's no good. And it's knocked out of bounds by Utah State. Three players were battling for the basketball. Two UVU players and Sean Harris. And they say Harris hit it out last. 7-4 Utah State. Utah Valley has not scored in the last four minutes. Yeah, this defense has really got them pretty scattered as Mitch. Mitch Bruneal with the dunk and the foul. I couldn't tell if that was a sweet pass by Nelson or if he just deflected it into Bruneal's hands, but either way, that is a great result. Yeah, I think it kind of tipped off of Boston's hand initially and kind of just fumbled right into Mitch, and Mitch says, I'll just dunk it real quick. What an athletic play from the senior. Officials are gathered at the free throw line here. Not sure what there is to discuss. The basket I think they're testing in. the... 
And they say no shot. I think they're testing it because he held on the rim for a little while, and so they're trying to discuss if it's offensive goaltending on it. And uh, they got to explain it to Coach Hunsaker, who's uh, not wanting to hear it right now. Help me understand, because you're, you're the player. But how, how, I mean, he was fouled on the way up, dunked it in. How is there not, how is the basket no good? Well, unfortunately, I don't, don't know too much about the dunking part of that one. But, uh, no, Mitch, just to avoid falling on anybody else below him, kind of held onto the rim for a second longer. And uh, I think with him breaking the rim down as it did, it kind of, oh, it looked so like the So they, ball they called there. him for hanging on the rim. That's exactly. why they waited that the was the offensive goaltending on there. Well, Bruniel able to hit one of two free throws. So what would have been a three-point play, UVU only gets one point out of it, down two. And I'm not a big fan of those calls because it's such a terrific play by Mitch there to concentrate and take the hit and to finish it like he did, and the ref's just going to decide to take it away. But Utah State misses the layup. UVU running the other way. Jaden Jackson in the left corner, down low. Kicks out to Nelson. Right wing, Jay in, out. Looked like it might have popped back in, but he's had three shots now that have been halfway down. Yeah, they're all right there for him. He just, hopefully that rim will open up soon. Travel violation in the meantime on Utah State. Number 24, JoJo McGlaston. Kind of shoveled his feet before making his move there. Second turnover for Utah State. On the floor for UVU, Nelson. Alex Carr, Boston Goobler, his first minutes of the game, Mitch Bruniel, and Jaden Jackson. Again, it looks like Utah State's going to stick with, I think they initially showed it, but now they're going to drop back into man on this position. They've been switching their defense a lot so they far. Have. Nelson near the midcourt line, dribbles now to the wing. Bruniel on the handoff. Goobler, top of the key. Two UVU players down low, can't get it there. It's Jackson now, left wing, dribble center. Picks up his dribble, 13 on the shot clock. It's Nelson, left wing, three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound by Darius Perkins. Perkins running the other way into the key already. Moore on a baseline J. That's short, no good. Should be off of Utah State, and it is. It is. Yeah, Utah State's playing a little uh, unorthodox than I think what the Wolverines are used to and what they've done in the past. You know, even as to last year, they, they did not show this dribble drive offense that they're trying to show right now. Usually Utah State is so disciplined to run all of their offensive sets, but really trying to put a lot of pressure on the Wolverines. 11.32 left here in the first half. You're listening to Wolverine Basketball on 960 The Zone. 7-5 here in Orem, Utah. Both teams struggling to get the bucket in the hoop. Utah State is 2 of 12 from the field, and Utah Valley 2 of 10. But you were mentioning just a moment ago, it's not so much uh, the offense as it is just great defense from both teams. Yeah, they're both getting out and pressuring defensively, and really, you know, with that 1-3-1 one, one that Utah State was showing and the way that the Wolverines pack the interior, there hasn't been a lot of easy baskets or drives to the rim uh, other than the transition play that Utah State has shown. And, uh, you know, I've just looked at the rebounds as well. There hasn't been any offensive rebounds for easy putbacks or anything. So both teams are doing a great job of, you know, defensive possessions and finishing those possessions by, by rebounding the basketball. And half of those UVU misses were halfway down <laughs> and popped back out. They've had some really good looks that have just not went in. Bruniel now center, swinging at Nelson. Now they're going to go corner Jackson. Back to Nelson, right wing, swinging Bruniel. Now they're left corner, Carr. Bruniel back to Jackson, one dribble, right wing. Double comes, now Nelson has it in the corner, swings it cross court, no one there. Turnover UVU. Yeah, this 1-3-1 one, one is definitely going to test their patience because you see different holes, you see different skip passes, and they're going to want to want to try and make those home run plays to, to get some type of easy basket. Henry Bolton with the basketball, gets a screen from Moore, now passes it back to Moore, now it's Perkins. Down to Moore on the left low block. Double comes, Moore backs out, defended by Nelson. 18 on the shot clock. It's McGlaston passing it to Perkins. Goes baseline, passes the Bolton. Now it's Moore. Thought about the three. Dribbles down the lane. Right side puts the shot up. It's short. No good. Rebound. Alex Carr. Carr dribbles down. Now it's Bruniel. Right wing. Looking for Nelson on the block. Can't get it there. Now, now it's Nelson. Defended by Moore. Right block. 
Tried to hit a cutting Jackson on the left side, deflected out of bounds by JoJo McGlaston. Yeah, they need to get Zach established early on those breaks. Mitch missed him on the initial post up, but uh, Zach reestablished himself. And again, just trying to make pretty difficult passes uh, within short distance. Their interior is, is pretty difficult. Subs coming for UC uh, for, for UVU: Marcel Davis, Jaden Jackson, Brendan Evans, Chad Ross, and Mitch Bruniel on the floor. Jackson now to Ross. He pump fakes, now takes the mid-range J near the free throw line. That's short. Ball kicks out. Jackson Great keeps hustle. it alive. And Bruniel goes baseline. Up for the lamp and good. Mitch Bruniel. Those extra possessions that either team can get, those 50-50 balls are really going to be the decider in this, you know, not too high scoring of an affair. 7-7. Ten minutes left here in the first half. Low scoring game, three-pointer right wing for Utah State. That's no good. Rebound Marcel Davis, loose ball foul called on Chad Ross as David Collette hit the floor. That'll keep it down here with Utah State. UVU doing a great job on the glass though. 16 rebounds, that's a nine rebound advantage over Utah State so far. Yeah, even on that play, I think Chad had position but their arms just got tangled up and it looked when David tried to jump, it kind of just gave the, the impression that Chad was holding him down and Fortunately, he got, got the foul call. Colette averaging about 4.9 rebounds a game. Utah State with it. They have it in the wing. Now it's Moore. Dead on three-pointer. That's no good. Moore right. comes flying in, crashing into Brevin. Right Brevin there. That Brevin. was just out of frustration right there. Again, that's what, is he 0 for 5, 0 for 4 right now? 0 for 5. And line 0, and, yeah. And just, you know, he realized as soon as he shot that ball, he, he didn't even follow through all the way. He knew it was off. And just out of frustration, try to chase that thing down. And is that Seven. a second foul there as well? First personal on Moore. Okay. No one has two fouls on either teams. UVU exercising a nice advantage on the board, 17-7. Davis with the basketball. Now it's Bruniel, about five feet off the three-point line. Now it's Davis left wing, back to Bruniel center, trying to go right side. Now it's Jackson right wing. Davis swinging at Bruniel. They're going to go corner to Ross. One dribble. Kicks it out to Jackson. He had a look. Puts the ball on the floor. Mid-range J for Jackson is good. Yeah, they really need to get Jackson going, especially, you know, in this zone and finding those corners and those open holes because he can really shoot the ball. 9-7. What kind of value does Jackson have against a team that plays a lot of zone? Colette driving down the lane. A little runner from the left side of the key off the window. It's kind of just how this game is gone. You know, the... The good open looks aren't falling, and then the circus plays. That one just kind of banks in off there. And, and again, you mentioned just barely how Jaden's value against this zone is, is huge because it stretches him out, gets those interior passes to the high post and different plays open as you know Marcel tries to make a hustle play. And in the meantime, there was a turnover by UVU that turned into a Utah State fast break. Who made that basket there? That was number 25. On Bolton, the, right, on that one? You're right. No, yeah, it was number 20. Bolton down the lane, got fouled, made the layup, so he'll have an and one opportunity. Yeah, unfortunately, no one was around Marcel when he tried to save that ball and hustled out of bounds, and, you know, Bolton was just right there to scoop it up. And, you know, in, in that situation, he's already there. He's going to make the layup. Chad should have just probably let him go on that. And unfortunately, gave him the, the and one a chance to stretch him to three points. Chad Ross now has two personal fouls, and that... Made UVU bring in Zach Nelson back into the game. Nelson, no points, 0 of 3 from the field. All three of those, like we mentioned earlier, were dead on. Just couldn't get them to go. 12-9, largest lead of the game for either team. Utah State up three. Again, kind of just showing that, you know, three-quarter court, trying to slow the pace of the Wolverines and only give them a short shot clock to work with. 20 on the shot clock. Davis, left wing, about five feet off the three-point line. Jackson, right wing. Bruniel, right corner. Now Nelson swinging it. Davis down the lane, kicks out to Nelson. Jackson now, left wing, two dribbles. Back to Nelson, he'll take the right wing three. Will this one go? No. Rebound by Harris. They've all been great looks, and again, they're all in and out for him. And, you know, he'll get one to fall and get himself going. He's the team's best three-point shooter at 41%. He's missed a few of them so far in this first half. Like you mentioned, dead on. Utah State misses. UVU collects the rebound. Now they're on offense. Davis, center. Dribbles down and try to get it to Brendan Evans on that right low block, but it's kicked. Stay with UVU. 
Utah State leads 12 to nine here in Orem, Utah. We'll take a break. You're listening to Wolverine Basketball on 960 The Zone. Earlier this week, UVU played the number three ranked Arizona Wildcats down in Tucson. And the team had kind of a cool experience. Bill Walton, one of the all-time great centers for Arizona, he had a chance to speak to the team in the pregame shoot-around. And Ben Ayer told me before the game that he talked a lot about living in the moment and, and maximizing every opportunity. And as you look back at your career, Holton, is that kind of how you felt about your college career as you know, a, a short time to really relish it and enjoy it? Yeah, because, you know, in the moment, time throughout the season can really drag on, especially as the Wolverines have kind of hit this, you know, four-game road skid. You can kind of think, man, this thing's dragging on. Is this ever going to end? And, and right. a bleak in an eye, it's it's over for and you. And you regret those moments when you were saying, oh, I wish I, you know, I could be back home or I wish I could be doing that or this. And now, you know, being on the other end of it, the only thing you wish you could do is go back in time and play another game or to go to another practice. And so, you know, that's, those are great words of advice to try and live in the moment and, and just to enjoy the times that you have with your teammates and not take any games or practices for granted. Because, again, you, you live probably the whole rest of your life kind of, you know, wishing you hadn't done those, taking those days off at all. As Marcel takes inbounds pass here. Davis with it in the wing. Nelson, Bill Walton, a big fan of Zach Nelson, thinks he can become one of the all-time greats here at UVU. And uh, Miss Jay there by the Wolverines. Utah State coming, coming the other way. It's JoJo at the free throw line. He'll take the transition jumper. No good. Again, those guards are just trying to run it down the Wolverines guards' throats here, and they're not afraid to throw them up early. 12-9, seven minutes left here. It's Ms. Nelson right wing, now Bruniel right corner. They're going to reset with Davis, top of the key. Nelson has a look, thought about it. Defended by Collette, goes baseline, down to Evans. And Devin, Evans is fouled at the rim. He'll be shooting two. Yeah, number 34 there, uh, Chris Smith tried to meet Brendan at the rim. And uh, I think kind of took a lot of elevation out of Brendan, as I'm sure Brendan wanted to flush that thing down on him. But... Again, with that push, pushed him away from the rim. UVU was only one of four from the free throw line in this first half. Evans' first free throw is in and out, no good. I just hope the rim gives the same treatment uh, next half, you know, to the, to the opposing <laughs> team because there have been so many balls that have been right there for UVU and they're just spitting them out. One of five now as a team from the free throw line. Wolverines trail by three. Evans' second free throw is no good. Valuable points. Missed at the free throw line. Harris on the low block. Double team coming. Tries to pass out of it. Bruneal deflects it out of bounds. UVU will have possession. Oh, that's a great point that you made. You can't let those freebies keep slipping by as it's a three-point game, and it's going to be you know, guaranteed something that we look back in the second half and mentioned again if Wolverines would have capitalized on these free throws early in this first half. They, sh they shoot 67% as a team from the free throw line. They are well below that here in this first half. Colette driving down the lane. Ball is stripped away by Jaden Jackson. He'll push it down. It's Davis. Back to Jackson at the center. Now it's Davis left wing. Tries to go down the lane but gets denied. Passes to Nelson. Now it's out to Dante Williams. 
He'll swing it back to Zach Nelson, left wing three. Zach, this one goes. Zach Nelson ties it at 12. Finally, the lid came off of it for him. And, you know, Zach shot every ball with confidence and, uh, you know, finally paid off for him. Perkins now left wing for Utah State. Gets a screen from Colette. Colette's rolling. Perkins down in the lane. Off the a little teardrop in the middle. That's no good. Great Rebound box by, by Marcel and great run out by Mitch right here. Can he finish with the right? No. Thought he got pushed in the back there, but no call underneath. Now it's Perkins into the front court. Right wing gets a screen from Colette. Another screen, and now will hand it off to Smith. Left wing three-pointer. Hesitation. Spins into the lane. Ball's deflected. Out of bounds off Zach Nelson. Yeah, they're really letting him be active with that ball on those drives that, you know, could have been a questionable foul call, but I'm glad the, the ref are letting them play. And that's how these games have been in the past. So they're always real physical, and uh, you have to match that intensity. Utah State has won nine in a row versus UVU. Nine and no all time, but we're tied at 12 here with 540 left in the first half. Smith down low to Colette. Jackson steps in. Colette misses the shot, and Bruneal collects the rebound. Bruneal with six rebounds already. A right corner three for UVU. No good. Can Bruneal track down the rebound? Yes, but he gets it to Sean Harris. And now Utah State running the other way. Tempo's really picked up here as Holton goes all the way down the lane, misses the layup. Again, those guards are really active in transition tonight and putting a lot of pressure on Marcel. As Marcel did a great job of avoiding the contact and not getting any foul call there. Davis will set up for UVU near the midcourt line. Now it's Zach Nelson. About... Eight feet off the three-point line. Jaden Jackson, right wing now. 15 on the shot clock. Down low to Bruneal. One dribble up with the right. No good. Rebound, Zach Nelson. He goes back up and gets it to go. 14-12 now, UVU. Yeah, Mitch has been a little strong on those last two layups there as he tries to gain so much contact when he tries to go up for those finishes. And great job by Zach sticking with the play. 5-0 run by UVU. Aggies with the basketball trying to break the, the streak. Perry at the free throw line. Kicks it out to Chris Smith, left wing. He'll get a screen from Colette at the free throw line. Loses the ball. Jackson with the steal. UVU with momentum and a chance to extend their lead. Dante Williams into the lane. Spin with the right. And he gets it to go. Dante Williams. A 7-0 run by UVU. Their largest lead of the game for 16-12 here in Orem, Utah. Timeout, Utah State. Yeah, again, when those guards can rebound for you defensively as Jaden picked up that kind of, you know, as you know, Chris Smith drove to the rim, kind of lost it there in the middle of the key, and, and Jaden scooped it up and was able to start the break early, and Dante got a run out and a beautiful spin move there on uh, Colette and a great finish by him. 16-12, to 12, Utah State is 0 for the last five. They're on a scoring drought of four minutes and 17 seconds. Bruneal and Nelson with five, five apiece for UVU. And ever since Zach got his first bucket to go down, it's the offense has really seemed to open up for, for UVU. Yeah, hopefully it kind of settled everybody else down and said, man, finally one's going to go in for us tonight. It's not all against us. And uh, it picked up the energy. You saw everybody kind of get lifted on that next defensive possession. And hopefully everybody else will continue to be aggressive and keep shooting them confidently out there. Utah State with the basketball. Student section here in Orem getting loud for UVU. Utah State with it. It's Smith in the right corner on the three-point line. One dribble, tries to go down low, can't get it there more. Right wing, one dribble back to Smith. Now it's Bolton at the free throw line. He'll pass out, that's gonna be a turnover. Pass was too high for Julian Perry, and now UVU will have an opportunity after this break to extend their lead. 16 to 12 here in Norm, Utah. Thanks for joining on the WAC Digital Network. We'll be back with more Wolverine basketball here on 960 The Zone. Here to the UCCU Center where UVU has their largest lead of four. They're on a 7-0 run. Holton, what has been the catalyst to this run? With it being such a, a low-scoring game, I think their defense definitely fed into that last run. They, Utah State's really been trying to work the high-low as, as the Wolverines have fronted the post. And uh, right as that you know, seven-point uh, stretch started for the Wolverines. They had a lob Utah State did over to Colette on the baseline, and Jaden Jackson came over and stood his ground and made Colette shoot a bad shot, which then sparked a transition basket for the Wolverines, and, you know, then Zach's three-point shot that came in and gave the Wolverines a lot of confidence. But I think it's going to be the defense that continues to spark the Wolverines offensively and uh, 
especially with that seven-point stretch right there. And, and as balls aren't falling for the Wolverines, well, what's going to give you confidence? It's not going to be, you know, the outside shot that's not falling. It's going to have to be defensive stops. And if they can keep doing that, making it hard for Utah State. You know, and not only are they getting stops, but they're limiting the second chances. I mean, exactly. they have an eight-rebound advantage on Utah State right now. And it's, it's, it's one and out every time for Utah State. It has been. And, you know, the guards have done a great job of contributing to that, you know, defensive rebound effort. You know, it would be interesting to see if the Wolverines can keep that energy going into the second half. Marcel Davis to Bruniel. A step back mid-range J. That's no good. Collected by Elston Jones of Utah State. Bolton coming the other way. Dribbling in. Now it's Chris Smith. Right wing three. Dribbles to the left elbow. Still tries to get in the lane. Nelson cuts him off. Perry down the lane and a little scoop shot. A whistle, they're gonna give a traveling violation. Another turnover, that's four turnovers for Utah State in the last three minutes. Yeah, I'm so surprised this was not the Utah State team I anticipated seeing and I hadn't watched any of their previous games, but just going off what they've done in the past, they totally changed their offense and just letting the guards just run free out there and, and definitely trying to attack offensively off the dribble and trying to just put the Wolverines in bad ways and the guards have done a great job of keeping their feet and staying in front of them and uh, definitely making them make hard passes and decisions going to the rim. They average 70 points a game. They only have 12 right now. They trail by four. UVU, it's Nelson in the right corner. No good, a rebound by Perkins. Again, another wide open shot that, you know, Zach will keep shooting and it'll, it'll fall for him. Moore had a look at the right wing three. Now down low to Jones, two dribbles. Spins to his right, off the window, no good. Rebound Williams. Wolverines got an extremely small lineup there as they got, you know, Mitch and Zach playing the, the interior for him. And Mitch is going to have some uh, tough matchups as he's going to get put on Jalen Moore or, or big number 50 out there, Jones. So Williams gave it up to Davis. Davis took it all the way to the rack, drew the foul. And Davis will go to the free throw line on the season. Marcel Davis, 59% from the free throw line. As a team right now, UVU one of eight. So if there is one area of improvement, this is it. And Davis makes the first one. Yeah, a couple, I guess, high points that you can try to look for in that Arizona loss and tough game. But uh, Marcel, I think, went four for four from the free throw line, and he'd been struggling up until that. So hopefully getting those to fall has given him confidence as he knocked down the first one here. UVU had played very well in that first half against Arizona. They were within two or three points for about the first 10 minutes of that game. Pretty impressed with the way that they played against the number three ranked Wildcats. Yeah, they did a great job in that first half of, of matching their physicality and matching their energy. And then, you know, as you know, your bodies get tired and things, those athletes really separate themselves. And in that second half, they, they showed how athletic and talented they are. Davis makes both free throws. UVU leads 18 to 12, two and a half minutes. Perkins inside the key, passes out to JoJo McGlaston. He'll dribble, get a screen from Colette. Gets Colette on the Great job the, by on Mitch coming on the yeah. baseline. As, as again, the Wolverines, you know, their biggest guy, Boston, who you had mentioned before, listed at 6'8", and you kind of gave me an eyebrow raise saying, you don't quite, you're not quite sure about that one. And uh, Wolverines doing a great job of just scrapping and hustling defensively, making it really hard for for the Aggies. Colette down the lane, that's no good. He's had a tough afternoon. Colette is one of five so far. Great job by Mitch coming over. What I thought should have been a charge call on Colette there as he just put his head down and went to the paint. Smith gets a screen from Colette, pops out, takes a dead on three, and gets it to go for Utah State, 18-15. Yeah, we'll see if this, you know, Jones's three right there can get Utah State's outside shooting going a little bit as, as Zach's did for us. Utah State is 5 of 25 from the field, 2 of 9 from 3. Dante Williams with the basketball. Now it's Carr, Davis, Bruniel swinging it around the three point line. Dante Williams right corner, 3. Williams answers for UVU. That's a huge shot against that 1 3 1. Hopefully it's going to stretch Utah State out and hopefully get him out of that as the Wolverines have struggled a little bit with it early. 21, 15, more down low. Bruniel and N Gubler on the double. Moore is fouled. And they're going to give Moore two shots. Yeah, they had Mitch, you know, caught him a little late on that back screen as Jalen came baseline, and Mitch went for the pump fake initially. And I think they actually called the foul on uh, Boston. But Mitch came over there a little, a little late, come off the screen, and... 
First personal foul for Boston. Moore on the free throw line gets his first one to go. That's only his third point. They've all come from the, three, the free throw line. Nelson in for Boston. Goobler. Also on the floor for UVU. Davis, Alex Carr, Dante Williams, Mitch Bruniel. You know, as a, as a player, you want to get to the free throw line when you're struggling offensively and try to just see the ball go through the rim to get your confidence back and uh, kind of fill your stroke. So I'm, uh, I'm a little surprised that Jalen's coming out after those free throws. Again, there's only a minute 20 left. There's no reason to, for him to get another foul or anything like that to close out the half. But uh, it'll be interesting if he can get his shot going in the second half. Davis dribbles it into the front court. Nelson right wing. He's going to... Drive on Colette, and Colette blocks his shot, but it'll stay with UVU, 23 on the shot clock. You know, and I'm fine with that drive by Zach. Great play by Colette there getting the block, but it's just showing Zach's going to keep being aggressive this whole game and not let those, those missed shots bother him mentally. Davis left wing, now it's Bruniel. He gets a screen from Nelson, right wing, now Nelson swinging it left wing. Davis, all behind the three-point line. Hands it off to Williams in the left wing. Back to Davis. Six on the shot clock. 50 on the game clock. Down low to Bruniel. And Bruniel gets it to go on the left side. There he got one to go as he's been, uh, you know, begging for that ball to go in on those little easy basket, baskets there. Bruniel guarding Colette. 23-17 Aggies with the basketball. Colette driving down the right side, and he'll draw a foul. Will not get the continuation. Didn't go anyways. Wouldn't have mattered, but... Because UVU is not in the bonus, it'll just be a – no, is it one-on-one? One? I think that one gave him seven. I think that one puts him over the limit gotcha. there, and he'll send Colette to the line for, for one-on-one, one, which – Colette on the year, 62% free throw shooter. Has not taken any free throws this evening. His first free throw is on the way. Looks long. Off the backboard, no good. And UVU will have the final possession up six. Really good first half for the Wolverines. Yeah, this is a big possession to close out the half the right way. And, and just to get the final shot, you don't want to turn over any silly plays like that to give Utah State any momentum or, or feelings of momentum to get their crowd activated and, and alive for the second half. Dante Williams isolated in the right wing. Seven on the game clock. He'll cross over. Step back, right wing. Another crossover. Trying to get a look. Fading two off the back rim. No good. And that'll end the first half. But UVU... Leads by six, 23-17. Williams and Bruniel with seven apiece for UVU. Six for Smith to lead the Aggies. Thank you for everyone watching on the WAC Digital Network. We're going to send it to Jake Rocco for a halftime scoreboard update around the country in NCAA basketball. You're listening to UVU Wolverines basketball on 960 The Zone.